Hello, it's Shades. This video will be more lighthearted, still about my personal life, but at least in this video, I'll laugh at myself. And if there are any complaints, it'll be about how cringe I was, not targeted at anyone else. Don't worry, I will try very hard to avoid making videos like the last one, but understand that when I was filming that, I had nobody to turn to. I needed to vent to someone, anyone who was willing to listen. I've moved on now. I'll be more mellow, so I'm sorry if I ruined the perfect image of me you had in your head. And now, now to ruin it some more with cringe, a range from when I was youngest to oldest. There are some cringy things I wish I could take as secrets to my grave, assuming I kept these memories all my life, but hey, I may as well post these on the eternal internet for views and so y'all can laugh at my expense. In kindergarten, I said I was Hawaiian because I'm from Hawaii. I was a pale scrawny Asian girl with jet black hair, keep this in mind. Around kindergarten, there were a few girls that were my friends. I must have watched Dancing with the Stars a lot with my mom and was probably especially amused with the part at the end where the guy would dramatically dip the girl. You know, when his arm is on her back and she's kind of like resting on the arm or his knee as well. And sometimes that wouldn't even be the finale and the guy would dramatically bring the girl back up. So, I convinced one of the girls to try reenact that dip with the other girl being the guy and me being the girl that was getting dipped. Let me tell you, it did not end well. The girl wasn't strong enough to hold me and I fell and hit my head really hard on the solid, not carpeted ground. I probably cried a lot, possibly got mad at the other girl despite the whole thing being my idea and the teacher probably scolded me which made me cry even more. Wow, another one from kindergarten. Other girls were role playing and I was part of it. This girl pretending to be my mom said that I was going to get grounded. I, a good sheltered kid with parents who are pretty easy going with their only child, didn't know what grounding was. So I started freaking out having a meltdown because I thought she was going to put me into the dirty brown ground out in the playground. There was this tall, nice teacher that would come around after school that everybody liked and one time he must have ate a lot of snacks and his stomach poked out of his shirt a little. Even though he was tall and lanky and I pointed that out asking if he was pregnant. He was nice enough to laugh it off considering I didn't get the talk yet. I was also obsessed with Wawa Wah Wubsy and would draw these three girls who were part of a singing group on the show and would try to copy their dance moves. The summer before first grade, I went to a summer school and I lost my first tooth there. So as everyone was watching Charlotte's Web in this multi-purpose room, I ran across the front row of people yelling and waving around my tooth, bragging about losing my tooth while also freaked out about the blood in my mouth. I was put into the kindergarten grade group. I probably went to many summer schools before or at least enough to get used to being put in the grade group that I was going into. So when they put me in the kindergarten group, I was like, excuse me, I'm above these little peasant kids. I'm grown up now. I'm a first grader, not a little kindergarten baby. I didn't actually say that, but I was kind of upset when I had to turn around and walk into the kindergarten line, not the first grade one I was walking into. It's cringe because I felt as if I was superior to the grade below me. In first grade, there was a unisex bathroom on the first floor and there was a key with a hanger that everyone took. I think there are multiple copies of the key in case a kid lost the key with a hanger. So I took the hanger to the bathroom, was doing my business, and then there was this probably really immature boy who couldn't wait, thought the key was lost, asked for another one, and straight up opened the door on me while I was on the toilet. It was embarrassing for both of us. The boy closed the door, all embarrassed. Happened with a few boys multiple times, unfortunately. People thought I liked this boy because I would tease him and pay extra attention to him, but he was just short and still had lots of tiny baby teeth, and that's why I embarrassed him so much. I didn't actually like him, and looking back, it's kind of mean that I made fun of him for how he looked like, even if I never pointed out his physical features. I was unwittingly being condescending by putting up a poster of the alphabet in the multi-purpose room because I was legitimately afraid that it needed to be put up there in case people forgot and needed to look at it for reference. This was an elementary school, some people were in 8th grade and a 1st grader thought that maybe they'd forget too. I probably saw this in a movie, thought it was funny and said oh yeah baby multiple times in random situations. Something else I remember was I painted my nails red one time and legitimately thought I was tricking a teacher into thinking my fingers were bleeding when that substitute teacher was probably nice enough to play along. There were these two Durga girls who are best friends and said they wanted to get married but I told them they couldn't because they are both girls and there was supposed to be a man. Before you dislike the video because you think I was being homophobic, I did not know about gay people. 
I just saw my mom and dad as a married couple and thought that was all there was to it. I didn't even read the Bible, just knew about creation, Noah, and Jesus pretty much. Didn't know about any verses about homosexuals, I was 7 years old. And those girls probably didn't know about gays either. I picked leaves off of plants saying he loves me, he loves me not without knowing what that meant just because I saw it on TV. It was St. Patrick's Day. This boy tells me I have to wear green or else I get pinched. I told him my underwear was green and luckily he didn't ask for proof. So cringe. I saw Phoenix and Ferb scenes that were lip synced to match Toxic by Britney Spears. I was seven, had no idea what the song meant and just liked watching Phoenix and Ferb. I also made life hell for this one high schooler who'd come over after school to help kids with homework. He tried to make me do my homework so I wouldn't have to do any at home, but I thought I was supposed to do it at home because it's called home, not schoolwork. So I cried and the teacher let us compromise on me only doing half the work at school. I'd make bandy cam videos of me playing Club Penguin and I'd talk to the camera and get multiple accounts on multiple computers at the same time so I could film a play. This is how I got a black belt in car jitsu. Second grade. Nobody liked the second grade teacher because she was really strict to the point that people thought she was mean. If you didn't get an answer right in class, she'd make you keep trying again until you got it right, even if it was really hard and she'd make you skip eating lunch so she starved innocent children. So this girl and I kept messing up an answer in math and she goes up, I follow, and the teacher congratulates her on a right answer. I see it, copy it down so the teacher thinks I passed and so I can eat lunch. Nobody knows that was the first and probably only time I cheated besides that time I'd write answers on the time tables after the timer was done. Cheating is cringy so don't do it kids. This teacher was also persistent in getting us to master the monkey bars and other metal peg on structures. I kept falling off and sliding into the wood chips and she kept getting mad. In third grade, I felt my scalp was itchy and was freaking out in the middle of a test because I thought I had lice and my friend was also joining me. We both scratched our scalps obsessively, freaking out, drawing attention to ourselves and our nice, not strict teacher actually nicely, without making us cry, I told him not to do that. In fourth grade, I got into My Little Pony. I'd watch episodes on YouTube on my computer, listen to music made by bronies like Eurodance with Discord, the Monster Guy thingy, and would watch these short videos with the same song where it's not off a drop it, and then there'd be lots of MLP dancing and stuff. I'd also see MLP montages to nightcore versions of You'll Go Far Kid by The Offspring. Real cringe, right? This is why I didn't tell anyone at school about this channel because then I'd get made fun of over videos like this. When I was tutored at Sylvan, we were doing word exercises where we were supposed to make words with the letters they gave us and I said fat. I didn't know what it meant at the time, the teachers laughed and said that wasn't a word there and I didn't feel like asking and that was good on my part. I watched lots of YouTube and would show the troll song to my mom and sing it. I also obsessed over other songs like the Awesome Face song, Numa Numa, the Duck song, Peanut Butter Jelly Time, Caramel Dancing, the Neon Cat song, which I actually blasted on my dad's phone at the mall, and the Banana Phone song. I would watch those videos on the weird side of YouTube that promised to change eye color through hypnosis and spells to get angel wings of any color to become a vampire, mermaid, or werewolf. I even read the comments of the Angel Wings one and people commenting that it worked and that they'd fly around the neighborhood further affirmed my gullible 10 year old self that it was real without thinking those were troll comments. What's more is that people said that the Angel Wings one wasn't witchcraft and that the spells were safe for Christians and God condoned it. 5th grade, everyone else was playing Minecraft and to be cool you had to play Minecraft so I did because I was new there and desperate to fit in. So I'd watch tons of IS Cupquake and I got headphones so I could watch Sky does Minecraft without my dad telling me to stop because of his cussing. I'd also watch their videos with a guy named TNT or something, lots of cringy Minecraft roleplay videos with Kevin McLeod music and was afraid of Herobrine. I had my own creative world that I'd sometimes switch to a survival world that I put on peace mode because I didn't want the creepers to destroy my stuff. I was really meticulous. I'd make hidden bases under tree trunks on faraway hills and underwater to store duplicated diamonds, even though the only people that I would play were my friends who would visit my house. I had a water well with chests of stone tools and food that were to be bought with iron by working in the field despite me being the only player. I made a nether themed hotel after visiting the nether before the portals were around with rooms of chests featuring stone pickaxes, shovels and chicken, beds, paintings, an obsidian to be like TVs, balconies and ivory bathtubs. 
I had petting zoos, rentable 6x6x3 six six rooms dug into mountains, and a tall mushroom mansion with an underground base, a dog room, a fishing room, bedrooms, and a roof garden. I do all of this while listening to Pandora or iHeartRadio, playing lots of Kids Bop, Kesha, Tao Cruz, Usher, real soundtracks from the movie, Kylie Rae Jepsen, Psy, Miranda Cosgrove, iCarly soundtracks, Disney Channel Show or movie soundtracks, Nicki Minaj, Selena Gomez in the scene, Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana, Victorious, and Shake It Up. Speaking of Shake It Up, when my grandpa was over, I was singing Watch Me as he was watching TV. He heard and laughed, and he also laughed when I fell down the stairs and dropped an F-bomb. I'd read creepypastas online and got scared of Bloody Mary. Sixth grade, my dad picked me up and I said time to go to the psychologist when others were around. I also got into watching Word Girl. I'd record episodes and I'd look on DeviantArt to see the fan art shipping Toby and Word Girl. Yeah. I tried getting lower grades on purpose, but never a C because of my Asian parents because other kids wouldn't read at school and they play games all the time, so I thought it was cool to not be a nerd with A's and I bragged that I didn't like reading. I would reveal more recent stuff, but I chose not to because these things took place at the school I currently attend, and I don't want it to be too revealing of who I am with these distinct happenings, even though I'm sure nobody I know knows about this channel. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video and for helping me in these times by contributing a view and increasing my watch time. It's hard to express and sound real, sincere, and touched, but I'm actually really happy that you're supporting me. If you liked my video, then feel free to leave a like, as that would be much appreciated. If you want to see more content like this, you can subscribe with the bell so you know when the next one is coming. Thanks again. Until next time, goodbye.